Alrighty, I want to welcome everybody back to another video. This will be continuing on with the other ones on the Grand Canyon. And I want to welcome everybody to the Yates channel and to the Yates Computer Tips and Reviews. Make sure you hit the likes, the subscribe, and the bell, and all that stuff. I know I mention it a lot. I know there's not a whole lot of people that watch these videos right now, but maybe something will spark and catch on and want to mention, go back, watch the other videos that I have posted. You never know where that spark will be that will get someone interested into something. I've mentioned it on a few videos of how I've got to liking the technology. So this is why this video will be posted on both channels. But, again, for Grand Canyon, it was really nice. Had a lot of package deals, a lot of unexpected deals, a lot of unexpected things going on. Of course, you have the Grand Canyon. You have all the historical things. All the hotels are where we're at on the South Rim are not modern hotels, the old-fashioned hotels. You have all the old-fashioned landmarks, Building 1, First Hotel, um, Potter House, that's the Indian type structure. You have the guy that did all the photos, got famous. They have artwork up there that was closed. There's a hotel there that's old fashioned with the deer head and the moose head and all that type of stuff. Like the old lodging wood lodges that you'd find maybe in Big Bear, Lake Arrowhead type, you know, fancy wooden looking structures. You had a lot of historical type of things there. Kind of expected that little bit because of what was there. Of course, Grand Canyon, historical park, national monument type area. So, kind of expected that didn't expect nice wilderness area things being stretched out spanned out take the bus tour where they tell you the history all of those type of packages go and looking at all the viewpoints going and checking out a lot of these things so last video kind of touched on the hotels and some of the accommodations food wise not a whole lot of choices every place has at least one place to eat pricing was not too bad if you kind of watched what you ordered and how you ordered and what you did but you know there was a hamburger place there's a pizza place there's a steak Kind of fancy restaurant. What else? There was a little food court type thing where we stayed. Where you can get eggs and a burrito and a sandwich. Almost every place has pre-made sandwiches and you get sodas. and Water was kind of hard to find. And when you did find it, it was very, very expensive. They sold them like in a can. Kind of interesting. But we found there was a grocery store, a little market. So we went, we bought water, and we brought it back to the room. Over by the grocery store, it's kind of out, out of the way. You either have to drive or take the bus. Bus was free. Transported you all around. Talked about that before. The bus and the bus tour are two different things. Bus tour you have to pay for. But... It was really nice because you had all the transportation, but what was really weird is the way we came up on the train, you didn't have your vehicle. So you couldn't just jump in and drive down to so-and-so and drive over here and drive over there. But it wasn't really convenient for you to do that either. There was a couple places where you could do that. If you parked at your hotel, you could drive down to the store and then come back. But there's some roads that are for buses only, and then there's just like a main avenue that you can go from and back and forth. 
parking was kind of hard because it was for hotel guests. And it wasn't really for you just to be there and move in and out. And there's some visitor parking and that type of stuff. But you have all the other people that come in with their vehicle also into that area. So it was really nice to just have the bus. Usually it's about... Every 15 minutes, every 20 minutes, it will come by. So you can kind of time it out, know when it is, figure it out. Once you know the bus route, it was pretty simple. Only real issue is, is the bus went one way. You didn't have it going both ways. It went one way. So if you were over here and you wanted to get over here and it was halfway through the route or a quarter of the way three quarters of the way around you have to go all the way around the whole route to get there or you walk but that wasn't bad because like I mentioned on the other video there was a lot of interesting surprises to me all the trees and the forest and the <coughs> nature <coughs> oh man <coughs> oh asthma all of that fun stuff that was there. Not to mention all the wildlife. So you might jump on that bus and it's happened to us. And you're going down and you go a stop or two and the bus has to stop because there's deer crossing. There's other things there. And you can see the deer. You can see the wildlife. All of these things that were unexpected. To me, they were unexpected. I was there to see the Grand Canyon. Not thinking all the wildlife and all this other stuff. And to have the view from the hotel. To see the woods and the forest. And all of this stuff. And whatever wildlife could be going by. The birds and all of this stuff. That really was an unexpected thing. So, it was kind of a surprising thing. But for the Grand Canyon, it was very nice. You had a lot of views, a lot of things going on. Um, of course, most of it, probably a lot of people already know about. But there was a lot of viewpoints. And the buses would take you out to a lot of those areas. You can get out. You can go down trails. You can go down and see whatever you wanted. We didn't go too far off into some of those trails. Because by the time you go to all those viewpoints and you walk around, you're actually walking quite a bit. Maybe for a first trip and you go through and you go check out all the things like we did. And you check out everything. And then plan another trip if you want to pinpoint a certain area. If you liked a certain area, you like certain things and you want to go and venture more into that. That would probably be another day or another trip. So that's one of the things I wanted to bring up. But it's very nice because you have a lot of historical things, a lot of little museums that kind of spread out. All the transportation's there for you. If you drive in, you pull into a parking lot at the visitor center. From the visitor center, there is three bus lines, but at the time we're there, only two are running. From there, you could go into the village or you can go out to the viewpoints. So when you come in and you get on, you can get on the orange buses, go out to the viewpoints and go see whatever you want. Blue bus goes into the village with the hotels. Over there in the hotel area, there's another bus line that runs out. I believe it was the red. Runs out to a whole other viewpoint, but that's up during the summertime. When we took the paid bus tour, it took us out that way. He went and told us about the viewpoint, what's out there, what you could see. You know, there was one area where it has fossilized shellfish like in the ground and the rock. And talked about the rock and all of that type of stuff. It was kind of really nice. Really interesting. Took you through the town. Talked about the town. What buildings used to be what. And how things have changed and where things are at. And. Showed you where the hotels are at. Told you the history of the hotels. A lot of things. For a paid bus tour. So. These weren't. 
things I really expected. I just assumed you went up there and you're basically on your own. Unless you paid for a third party tour or something of that part. This would be kind of a third party tour I had because it was through the same place I got the train and the hotel and all that type of stuff. It was a package deal. So these are things that I wanted to bring up because these were unexpected to me. All the viewpoints, all the Grand Canyon itself. That's the part everybody knows about is the Grand Canyon with the view and the, you know, it's down 40,000 feet or whatever, 4,000 feet with the different plateaus and the different levels and the, the wildlife and you got goats and other things running around on the, you can, when we got there with the snow and all of that type of stuff, it was kind of nice. So wanted to touch on all of this, that the Grand Canyon's one thing and then you have the other views that are another thing that are completely different, that kind of were unexpected to me, but it was nice. It was nice to see. It was one of those things that made you consider, would make you consider knowing all of this. Should you go up there and stay the night? Two nights. I would recommend going up there and staying the extra nights because it's not just the view of the Grand Canyon. And not only the view of the Grand Canyon in one spot, but you can go way out to different places and you can take the bus and it'll take you to different places and it'll show you a bunch of things. So it was really nice. If you want to be kind of separated from tourist big crowds, there's a couple hotels for a little out. The one we were at was just a little ways. I think they say about a quarter mile from the rim. There's another one you can get on the bus and go out. It's a little further. It's by the store. So you have some population. You might have some traffic and noise that might help you, especially, like I said, it's pretty quiet. It gets pretty quiet out there at night because uh, once it gets dark, you don't have people out there driving around and doing other stuff. You might have people coming in to check into the hotel and that type of stuff, but it gets pretty quiet. So that's a different thing. Like if you live in the city and you're used to the city noise and all of that stuff, it gets pretty quiet. You have all the wildlife and all of that stuff too also out there. So, okay, I think I'll wrap this one up. Well, Maybe not. There's a lot of viewpoints, a lot of history, a lot of historical stuff. So I don't want to make it too short. Don't want to brush over it. Again, there's some technology related stuff there. Of, you know, the gentlemen, when they set up, how they built their homes, what they built out of. The guy that took all the photos of the Grand Canyon, that made it famous from all the photos, from all the artwork, where he built the home, where he was at, where his studio was at, all of those type of things are there. There's plaques and everything that you can read that tells you everything about the viewpoints, the history, a lot of that stuff. There's tours you could get, of course. There's the mule ride, aka, to go down. There's other different things that are there, other packages you can buy from other companies, like a Jeep tour, and there's other things that will drive you down into the canyon, but they're pretty pricey. But, you know, if that's what you're interested in, I didn't go down into the canyon, because that's like an eight-mile hike. One way. So, that's a different experience that I did not do. But for the South Rim and on top, I was really kind of shocked and surprised on what was actually there. Of course, you have all your modern, modern technologies and all that type of stuff. But that's all what I wanted to touch on is the surprising part of it, the nature, all of those type of things, and the features that were there. And, of course, once you're all done with all of that type of stuff, like we took the bus tour and we took the train up. When you take the train back, it takes you back into Williams. Williams is trying to be old-fashioned, old Route 66 type of thing. So that was a different kind of experience also that was part of it. 
small little town. It was nice. Of course, in Williams, there's Bear, Arizona. We went through there. It's a nice little drive through. You go see the animals, and the animals, animals are free range. You're driving through their exhibit. You come out. There's a little walking little zoo with other animals that you can see. So it was pretty nice. A little expensive, but it was worth it. But that was something I wanted to touch on because that's more wildlife, more things that might be interesting to you. Plus, that's on the way to the Grand Canyon. It's outside of the Grand Canyon. It's in Williams. If you took the train, it's there. You need your vehicle to drive there. Plus, it was snowing when we were there. So, it was nice. It was a unique experience. Something that you won't get every day, everywhere. So, wanted to touch on that. I think I'll wrap this one up because I think I covered everything. The bus tours, the buses, the nature, the actual Grand Canyon, the history. All of those things are there. The... Really, the surprising thing was the technology and how they recycle everything. They had a little short video on the TV in there that I watched that was really interesting. All the future technologies, everything is kind of there. So, I think I'll wrap this one up. As for a review, I highly recommend it. It's a nice way to unplug. If you don't want to unplug, you could still kind of be plugged in. You can take your technology with you. But, it was kind of nice. It was quiet, you had the nature, you had the Grand Canyon, you had the history, you had historical place, you had one of the seven wonders of the world, you had, you know, everything there in one nice little package. So, for someone who wasn't really interested in going in the first place, that was always, oh, you know, it's just the Grand Canyon, it's not that big of a deal. Well, I was kind of surprised with all the other things that are related to the Grand Canyon as the nature and all of that type of stuff that, you know, if you're living in a city, you're living in population, you know, there's other places that you can go up into the mountains and other places like that, but it's not the Grand Canyon. It might not have all the wildlife. It might not. Of course, you could go to Yosemite and other places that are national federal land that are preserved and other type of things i wouldn't just call them national parks because there's other things out there but for if you're thinking about it and you're considering it i hope this gets you interested in looking because it was one of those things where i looked and i, went, eh, I don't kind of like the way this is i looked again looked again looked again and then i found more options Found out about the hotel, hotel stay at the Grand Canyon. Thought, oh, that'd be kind of cool because then we don't have to rush. We don't have to run around. We don't have to do this. But then I found that whole other side that I was surprised on. So I wanted to do little videos to bring this to light because, again, you don't know technology-wise where things are. Park services, park rangers, all that. They have all those programs that you can go if you're interested in nature and maybe interested in a career in that way, you can go there. Well, of course, park nature still use technology, still use computers. Hikers, tourist type people, you still need, maybe you need the GPS units. You need to know where you're going. You need to know your maps, how to design maps, how to chart trails, all these type of things. All these things you can learn, figure out, go check these things out. Maybe that's the spark that gets someone to create the next greatest gadget. Is you go out there and, okay, what's the best way to get down the hill? And, you know, you've sure seen in movies, you know, the hovercrafts and all these other type of things. And, you know, maybe that's the next generation that will come from someone who just goes on tour because they want to see the history and then they get interested and something else happens. So you never know where the spark will be. So that's why it's part of the technology. 
because there is technology there. There's a lot of things involved in science, microscopes, you know, things to measure the dirt, what kind of dirt it is, the density, all of that's technology based. So as for the Grand Canyon, it was kind of a really nice experience, brought a lot of light into a lot of things that really was interesting to think of how the modern technology has improved, how certain things have gotten better because of it, and how you know a lot more information because of the modern technology. As simple as camera lenses and other things that are now stronger, that they can get better views and better sights on certain things. Plus, you know, you have all the old-fashioned things, the river rafting and all of those type of chores that if you really wanted to, you could do. So there's a whole nother bunch of things up there in the Grand Canyon for the Grand Canyon side that are nice that just wanted to bring up, bring it to people's views to know. Because, again, I just was thinking it was a more modern area with... You know, the train depot, a nice train depot and all this stuff. But it's kind of the old-fashioned classic stuff. And it was nice. So, for it to be on both channels because of what it is. But this is really my review of Grand Canyon, Grand Canyon Railroad, and the National Park. There's really not too much negative that I could really post or say just not one little thing on the train why they stack everybody together when you have you know how many people you have and you can space people out but that's a COVID concern and COVID ruling and everybody was wearing masks and everything was safe and secure but you know that's just the type of thing we're in today as of filming Hopefully in two months, three months, all this stuff will go away and none of that will be a problem. But that was the only thing. But that really does not affect the trip. Does not affect anything. Doesn't affect my review. I still give it a very good review. I still recommend it. Because it was a unique thing. Something that you probably want to do once in your lifetime. There was a lot of older people there. That I've talked about. They wanted to do this for so many years. And all this stuff. And it was really interesting. Glad to have done it. So. I'll wrap this up. I think this will end this series. It will be just these three videos. want to thank everybody from watching. Watch all my other videos. If you're on. My regular channel. Jump over to the H Computers. Tips and Reviews. Lots of videos over there. If you're on that channel, jump over to the other one. I'll have more reviews and more trips than when I, we take them. And check them out. Thank you.